Hello YouTube pipe community. Happy Friday. It's kind of an unexpected video as I had a little bit more a little time this morning for a Friday for me. Sometimes Fridays are my slow days as well as like Wednesdays. And I had an idea while I was sitting there drinking my coffee. What was the idea? To work on a corn cob pipe. I have not touched a cob or modded a cob since the cob foolery contest. So, sitting there looking at a cob pipe and it just kind of came to me. For whatever reason, the idea just started spinning in my head. So, I figured I'd go, go for it. And <laughs> here it is. Um, what it is, it's just a, I think it's a legend or George Washington legend or whatever. But what the difference is and what I did to it is, it's got a round bottom. <laughs> it's not flat. And I always wanted to try and make a flat, it's hard to catch it with the shadows and get in the sun. I always wanted to try and make a round bottom one. And I just never, never, had, well, I don't know why I just never tried it, but. I think you guys are something whenever I film lately it always wants to go up but so what I did is it's got a plug in the bottom now it has a pretty big plug actually what it is I drilled all the way through and some of this I got to give credit where credit is due to uh, another YouTube pipe pre presenter that I didn't exactly copy his idea I shouldn't even say copy his technique, use this technique. I did a variation of his technique. So the technique he used allowed me to figure this out. And that would be cane rod piper. So I'm going to try and fix you guys. Getting tired of trying to keep up with you. Um, cane rod piper. When he did his cop foolery contest entry with his country gentleman. And where he took, um, I, I believe it was him. Not sure. Well, he broke it out. I used a. Um, I thought to, I'm, if I'm if I'm giving credit to the wrong guy, I'm really sorry. But I used a Forstner bit, went right through the thing, so that I could get uh, put a plug in there. And then what I did is took the stem off. This is a this is actually a bamboo stem. Some of this is kind of thrown together because it was kind of more of a proof of concept for, to me, and I didn't know if it would work, and it actually did. So I, the stem was gone. And then that, that plug comes up about here, just past where the original hole for this uh, uh, shank was. Now, and another idea he had, and what I was going to originally do is do his uh, um, pipe mud, mud method, where where he uses pipe mud. And why do you keep going back up? Stop. Where he uses pipe mud to pack around where uh, the shank came through, and then uses a little drill bit to make a bottom for the uh, draft hole. So it's more like a traditional uh, briar pipe. And I was gonna do that, but that's when I figured, why not um, just run that plug further, a hardwood plug, it's oak, and Put my draft hole in so I drilled my draft hole and then used my uh, chamber bit to kind of keep going down until I hit that draft hole that I have so essentially it's got a wood plug that has the gosh dang it that has the traditional uh, pipe shape from, with the chamber and then the draft hole meeting it so that plug like I said it runs up to about here somewhere and then it's uh I should have probably showed you before I put tobacco on it. <laughs> Whoopsie daisy. Anyway. So the bottom of it is actually like a, a traditional, like you would see on a uh, briar pipe. With the chamber and the round bottom and the draft hole and all that stuff. But I figured I'd just jump on and share that with you. Because I haven't really done a cob in a long time. And this one actually turned out pretty cool. Um, and this might lead to some stuff in the future. 
with making calves because it was an interesting idea. Like I said, I do got to give some credit to Cane Rod Piper because um, some of his techniques I used just in a different little way, which is kind of what's neat about the, the cob modifying community is almost like open source uh, hardware for like computers where people share ideas and you can take that idea, you can modify it to use it um, however you want to or apply it to how you would do it. So like I said, big thanks to Cane Rod Piper for that because um, it's not exactly, it's like his technique, not exactly the same, but it allowed me to um, figure out how to do this. So like I said, it's real neat being part of that community that uh, works on cobs and just openly um, shares how you do it. Like I said, it feels a lot like open source uh, software where people can just use it and figure out a way to use it in their own way and build upon that. So with that being said, you guys have a great Friday. Hopefully it's payday. Go out and have a couple cold ones and just relax and put life on hold for a couple days.